Okay guys, so in this video we're going to be doing a bending tier list. Let's get right into it. Okay, so the first bending that we do have is air. And so for this tier list, I'm going to be going and looking through not just like PvE aspects, but mostly PvP for now because that's what mostly the game is, is PvP at the moment. So I think that air probably in my opinion in PvP is a solid A tier because it has very big hitboxes. It's like sort of like fire in terms of its hitboxes, but it's way bigger and can be comboed really well as well when it comes to PvP. Okay, so the next one we have here is just sort of like a picture of Hama, the bloodbending NPC. So for example, Hama is a subbending for water. So I'm gonna be showing you how much this actually scales up water in terms of this tier list and how much just water is by itself, same for fire or earth or any subbending without that as well. So in my opinion, bloodbending is actually really good because you can really like combo and do a lot of M1 whenever they are in that blood grab so i'd have to put bloodbending probably a tiny bit over air in my opinion because i believe that bloodbending is really good with like the good thing about water is you can sort of ice slide around them and then if you get them with a blood grab you can go into straight m1s and it's actually really nice as for the next one is blue fire the reason why i put blue fire here is because i actually have blue fire and it's actually very different than normal fire here and i don't i noticed that very quickly i thought it was just a cosmetic thing but it actually is a buff as well so blue fire is actually faster than normal fire and it actually like does more damage I believe or it's just way faster in terms of the speed and the damage of the skills as well. Especially when it comes to skills like fire kick and like skills like fire leg spin, they go super fast. It, it, it's like you're like throwing something super quickly at them. So blue fire, I'd have to put that probably in the S tier. It's actually really good for PvP. Not only can you use fire jet to dodge stuff, but the fact that all of your fire bending is faster than usual and does more damage is really good, especially when you're facing like an earthbender, someone that can like put a wall around them whenever you are firebending and just completely block your skills. Or even like waterbenders as well if you want to keep your distance. You don't want to get caught by that blood grab as well. And okay, as for the next one here, we have Earth. Now, Earth is very, very, very busted. Like, I don't know how much I can say about it, but Earth is insanely busted. The fact that you can just put up a wall that if any bending comes and hits that wall, which is right in front of you, doesn't even hit you at all, is crazy. Earth is for sure the best element in the game. Of course, better than the blue fire. I have fought some earth benders that have just been able to just destroy me because they have like boulder toss that they're able to move. They have earth manipulation. They have like a ton of like really good stuff. And on top of that, they have earth slide, which they can really use because it's like instant activation. They don't have to be in the air or anything like fire jets. And they can just go right around you, go straight into M1s. And then they can also stun you with Earth Push and go straight into more M1s as well. That's why I think Earth is the best element in the game. Now, as for fire without sort of blue fire or without the sub ability, I'd have to put it behind air at a B tier. I think that fire is really good when you do add a sub bending to it because I know that lightning does 50 damage and that blue fire is way faster. But without that, it's really not the best bending. It, it, it's good in some scenarios and some situations, but whenever you're fighting someone like an air who has like very fast abilities and big hitboxes, a bloodbender that can easily grab you along with like the water and everything as well, you really aren't on par with them. Now, as for fire with the sort of a lightning sub ability, I'm gonna have to put that a tiny bit behind air. I think that it's still not better than air because air is just insanely good. You can combo with the actual abilities off of air. But that lightning sub ability can take away like 30 or 50 right off a 1v1 or right off fight as well. And that can be very useful, especially if you're fighting more than one opponent. So yeah, that's why I think that Zuko right here, which is the lightning sub ability, is a tiny bit behind air, but it is, of course, an A tier as well. Okay, so as for the last element of this video, we're we'll going into water. And I think water is honestly a C tier. And the reason why I'm saying that is because water, the only downside of water, and keep in mind, this is water without the sub ability of bloodbending. With that, it becomes an A instantly just because of the amount of sheer M1s you can do and the amount of damage over time off those M1s off of blood grab. The reason why I think that water is probably the worst out of these elements is that the hitbox isn't too big when it comes to some abilities. Like, of course, like the water toss or like the water like sort of throwing ability is not the best and also a very big like very very big thing that does nerf water is the fact that you need to have water if you're not like in the water tribe or near a source of water and like the pouch and the reason why i say that is because if you're going to long 1v1s and you have the stamina for it but you don't have enough water you're basically gonna lose that 1v1 or that fight 
because you won't have any water to be able to actually do any bending. And the reason why I put blood bending on top of air and lightning and just fire overall except blue fire is because whenever you get that blood grab, I'm going to use it as like a secondary source of damage because you can just go into that blood grab and go into that M1, making it so you can save more water off your blood bed, which just makes water overall way better. Okay, guys, let me know what you guys thought about this bedding tier list. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.